Hello and welcome to BuildBox. In this video, we want to review some of the basic options available for objects within the BuildBox interface. So over here on the left hand side, if I select one of the objects from the asset bar, I've got some options that appear in the options bar on the right. The first option is the name. And just like with characters, the name isn't something that appears in the final app. It's not something that your end user will see. So just name your object something that's easy for you to identify it by. I've chosen Purple Batty because that's something that's easy for me to remember. It helps with my organization. Next we have the collision shape. Here we can edit the hit zone for this particular object. You can add additional points to the hit zone and really refine that to get rid of any blank space and make sure that you've got something that nicely matches the object shape. You could change that from a polygon to a circle and expand that circle to match the object shape as needed. Just be sure to choose the collision shape that works well for your particular object and then refine that as best as you can. Next we have our default animation. This is the standard animation for this object. If you have something like a still object, something like this box, it might be wise just to use a still image because we don't need to show any animation or movement. But for this purple baddie, because this object is a live enemy that will be moving throughout the screen, it makes more sense to use an animation sequence. So if I open up this default animation sequence and play it through, we can see that the character is just going to be moving throughout the scene, approaching the character, and this is the default walk animation that we've added in here. And just like with other animation sequences throughout BuildBox, you can drag and drop PNG animation sequences to the appropriate box. So if I want to replace the default animation, I could just drag and drop a new animation sequence on top of this one and replace that animation. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we'll cover some more advanced object options.